All right, guys, it is Friday and we have some exciting things to do today. Tanya's finishing up a couple of things real quick. We're making a meal plan for one of our clients. She's walking journey real quick. And then we hit the road on a venture for journey. So let's go. So we left off telling you that we were going on a little journey. And where that journey led us is to a place called Nuzzles & Co. The Ranch. Um, it's located in Pioa. I don't know if I said that correct. Pioa, Utah. Um, so we have arrived and the reason we are here is because Journey needs to get her DHPP shot. So we're a little bit early. We're going to sit here until her appointment, which is at 2 o'clock. and get her all up to date on her shots. Also, I must mention that because of the whole coronavirus thing going on and things being a little bit more on lockdown, we actually are not even allowed to go in with her. So I will be taking her with her crate and setting her in between the two double doors and then I will walk away. Um, that way we're making sure that we're keeping everything that are separated. separated and keeping the social distancing for the care of the staff as well as for journey and as well as for us as well as for us yeah for sure so that's how we are doing this um so again i will set her in the the doors when it's time and then we will sit here and wait until she is done huh? Are you so grab this kennel. I don't know if... It yeah, is. that might be the next person. Come here. 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 So it's really hard when you have to drop your girl off and leave her on her own. I'm sure she's crying already. <laughs> she's just going to get a shot, but man, I'm sure she doesn't have any idea what's going on. Nope. All right. Shot was a success and it happened like quickly. Yeah. We no longer put her in. It seemed like they were bringing her back out. So she is in her kennel now. We have about an hour drive back. We walked, we walked her, um, gave her some exercise so that way she could burn off a little energy and maybe nap the rest of the way. And then we have some big announcement. All right, guys. 
we made it back to our parking spot. We got a little journey her shot. She is in her kennel right now crying. We're about to take her out for a big <laughs> long walk. Yes. But before we do that, we wanted to share the big news that we told you that we had. So as most of you know, we are long-term foster parents for Journey right now. We are not able to adopt her until the COVID-19 thing is lifted and she is actually able to have surgery so that she can be spayed. Sure. And until then, we can't legally adopt her as it is part of Nuzzles & Co's policy to have the dogs 100% ready to go when you do finally adopt them. For sure. So that ties us into what the big news is. And what that news is, we are going to run a spread love campaign. And what that means is we are going to have all proceeds for this donation be donated to Nuzzles & Co. Not only is it because we are rescuing Journey from there, but what they are all about is what we believe in 100%. Their mission is to put love first. And if you know <clears throat> if you know Dustin and I, that is what we believe in. We spread love. We're all about spreading love. We have it in our bus, on our bus, everywhere you turn. That is what we preach. So this is our opportunity to give back. We had two dogs before we hit the road and both of them passed. And now we want to give back in their name. We want to give back for the love that they gave us. Now we want to spread it to other dogs that need just as much help, just as much love, and just as many people as like us that can and will rescue and adopt them. So what we're gonna do is we have some t-shirts, ideas that we are going to sell so to speak but mm -hmm. all of the proceeds are gonna go to Nuzzles & Co which is the company that believed in us enough to allow us to have little journey in our lives and we have been turned down we have had other places tell us that they wouldn't adopt to us because of our living situation or that they just did it locally or that it just wasn't going to work out for them and that's totally understandable for sure. but like we said we love spreading love and we love giving back so this is an opportunity for tanya and i to give back and spread our love <clears throat> so we're gonna take it here is an idea of what the shirts will look like so Dustin and I lately have been doing black and camo. So all shirts are going to be black with lettering spread love in camo. Now we are going to have these shirts made um, and they're all going to be unisex. So what we would need from you, if you are interested in donating to this cause, we would have you send us your shirt size as well as an, uh, an address where we can send these shirts to. Yep, it, the cost is gonna be $25. And like I said, all of the proceeds will go to Nuzzles & Co. Mm -hmm. um, what we're basically going to do is drop an email that will be on the end of this video. You'll be able to click on that, tell us what it is that you want, and then we will send you a PayPal link in order for you to pay. But the key here is no matter if it's one shirt or a thousand shirts or 5,000 shirts, we're just going to use this to give back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy a shirt. Tanya's going to buy a shirt. You know I'm going to be rocking spread love <laughs> all over the place. So that is our goal. It's just our goal. It's our way of giving back. And if you can help out in any way, all the dogs, Nuzzles & Co, and Tanya and I would truly, truly appreciate it. 100%. So with that, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us. All of our information is in the description of how to get a hold of us. And with that, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for following along and being a part of our journey. Help us spread love. Bye, guys. <laughs>